and welcome to another episode of Straight Talk. This week's show is brought to you by Nova Career Centre. Whether it's for a new career, upgrading your skills, or getting a high school diploma, the Nova Career Centre is waiting for you. I'm one of your panelists, Michael Stock, and with me there is... Jessica Deer. Uh, Ross Montour. And special guest today for our first part of the show is... Regan Tueza Jacobs. Regan! <laughs> Ah, Wow, see, but, but uh, this whole this little stumbling of mine, this is because mm -hmm. uh, of trying to use what the very little I have. But you just started in the in the uh, language immersion program. Want to tell us about that? Huh? I just started in the two-year uh, writing one in the Arctic language program. It's my tenth day, if you will, second week. And um, it's yeto uh, wajeza, wandore. Very difficult, yeah. huh? Wandore. Nekti, and kwani, and kwani. I can do it. Um, it's like language boot camp, if you will. That's the only way I can explain it for myself. Being a beginner with very little prior speaking, um, I feel like my mind is being like, you know, it's like you clear out your mind of using Johasa, which is English, and they teach you how to, you know, they're teaching me how to speak in Mohawk, but to think in it. And it's very hard. It's like a whole other, I have a whole found new respect for other people that went through this program. I think it's really difficult and it's a lot of, it's a lot of hard work. And I'm hoping that I can make it, you know, I'm really hoping that I can make it because like, uh, I said earlier, you know, with the two little kids, the businesses, the house, the husband, um, really if it wasn't for him, <laughs> he's a husband, like seriously, he's so good with everything. If it wasn't for him and the support that I need to do this program, there's no way I would be able to do it. And I'm struggling, like in the sense that it's a lot of work. Yeah, but you know what, it, it's a worthwhile struggle. It, Lynn and I talk about this all the time, you know, it's like we're always, um, on our program, Reality Check, we're always talking about concepts that we end up running against words in English mm -hmm. that really don't adequately describe the things we're talking about culturally. But I, I think what happens, what, it, when you dedicate yourself to that program and you come out the other end, okay, if you have applied yourself, the way you, your worldview will, sh will shift. Hmm. And you will change the way you think about things. I mean, thinking in another language, it's almost like to me, if you change, if you start writing with the hand you don't normally write, mm -hmm. quality of your mind changes. So good for you. I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, well, it's good for your, your good family. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> well. You mentioned your businesses and um, you have use with uh, Seven Generations Day Fair. Yeah, well, we wanted to just really quickly give a shout out to all of our staff and family over at Seven Generations Daycare. It's our one year anniversary last week, September 7th. We started a year ago and it's been a year full of like trial and tribulations and <coughs> you know, a lot of good things, but it's been a learning experience for us. Um, you know, as owners, Mike and I both own Seven Generations. So, I mean, it's it's been an experience and um, with anything, you know, after a year, you look back and you're like, Woo! <laughs> I don't know, how did I do that, you know, or it's like, wow, it's great. And um, I just wanted to thank my staff for being uh, part of that and uh, also the step-by-step -step Child and Family Center for, you know, being a um, positive role model here in the community and for us and being, you know, having an abundance of resources for us. Speaking of resources, baby, a new buggy. For the daycare. Yeah. Tell us about that. The daycare got a brand new buggy. Woo woo! And it's such a good thing because, um, you know, our old buggy, when we initially started, it was something that we had bought secondhand to start with. And it was in decent shape, you know, but the wheels broke and we were like out, you know, out of buggy. And um, they're like almost $2,000. Wow. So I just happened to be on Facebook venting on my status one night and I was like, you know, seven generations, the poor kids, the buggy broke. They weren't able to go on their daily strolls like they had been doing. And one of my Facebook friends, which is Beaver Daibo and uh, a longtime family friend actually, he wrote me and said, oh, well, how much does something like that cost? And we kind of went back and forth saying, well, it's this much and I'm not really sure. But 
And then he wrote saying, like, um, my family, Jennifer and I, his wife, you know, that we would be willing to buy the buggy for you guys. This all went down on Facebook, like, late at night. And I thought, oh, my God, that's amazing. So that put things in motion. I went to see him. He gave me the money for it. We ordered the buggy. And we got it last week. And hopefully we can bring him a picture now of the buggy and some of the kids. And um, it's just amazing. So now we'll go into Beaver, Daibo, and his family and his generosity. It's just things like that. Like when, when something so unexpected happens and somebody gives you something, it's like paying it forward, you know mm. what I mean? And, and we're just so grateful to him and his family because the kids really, you know, are the ones that are going to use it and children to come. The next seven generations. And the thing is, it's uh, it's a subsidized program. You know, it um, you know parents are paying seven dollars a day, and, and, and at the end of the you know at the end of the month, there's there's no real money to to buy other things like that. You know, mm -hmm. like swing sets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We had applied to uh, to other programs that are out there for um, donations, and mm -hmm. uh, we're still waiting. You know, we're still hoping that um, that. You know, somebody else will donate. We we all we still need another buggy, but we need a swing set. But it's coming near the end of the uh, the year, so you know that can wait probably till till next year. Um, so it's always it's always something to try to maneuver one way or another. You can't ask the parents to you know to pay more than what they're paying right mm -hmm. now. It's even though it's seven dollars a day, but you know the program has to go. It's it's needed in this community anyway. You know right. there should be more. Um, it would be good if if other there were there were others, and you were you know if we if we could find another location, um, we would probably uh, try you know start to open another one because mm -hmm. there's such a demand you know and and right now we don't have the those the spaces anywhere for right. yeah. daycare waiting lists are really crazy like I heard like sometimes like the for the Concordia there's like two year waiting list to get on it so. Mm -hmm. And there's some parents in town that are taking their uh, their kids to Shadagi or other places and are paying a lot. For, for daycare, so mm -hmm. it's needed and, um, you know, it needs to expand in the community somehow, uh, whether it's going to be a home daycare or whether it's going to be something else. And and, mm -hmm. and we're always looking for to, to expand now because it's there. You know, we started because of our children. We had a hard time, so we're like, what are we going to do? Maybe we can trust, we'll start our own. Mm -hmm. But step by step helped out so much and um, then they continue to do that. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that was a big part to help us. But it says a lot about, the Facebook is a networking, uh, um, I don't know, application. I mean, that's the wrong word I'm looking. Yeah. I mean, it, but it's there. It's a part of our, our, our world. Then. But there's a Gunawangi community. But outside of Facebook, because not everybody's on that, uh, maybe through this program, um, we put it out to the community. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if there's anybody out there who is interested in donating, uh, yeah. what, how would they contact you guys? Well, if there's anyone out there interested in donating, either you know financially or you know even going out and buying something and just bringing it to the daycare, um, you can give our staff a call at four five zero six three two eight eight three eight. And or send us an email at seven generations at live dot com, and um, we'll be very grateful to that for that for any you know yeah. donations Have you ever, like, open houses. Have you ever had like an open house? Uh, well, I think what we're, because it's the one it's, it's the one, one year, year we, yeah. we still. We still haven't. We, we should. Plan, we're trying to plan something to an have like house, an open house and, and to yeah. like for the like for the one year. Even though it's past the one year date, we're we're gonna try to to do something for the one for the yeah. one year. Yeah. But anyway, we, I, I'd like to thank Beaver and his uh, wife Jennifer, their family, for the donation of that of the buggy. It was much needed and yeah. uh, you know very appreciated for that. Um, one other thing <clears> too, <throat> you're just like. Uh, you're like all over the place. She's a Renaissance lady here. You're full of news this week. Yeah, no. A, a Canada Con a, a Council on the Arts, yes. Arts Council, whatever. Um, so, so Just the they're involved in your life now. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't even. I can't. Yeah. You know, I'm so excited about life right now. It's stressing, but there's so much going on. It's you know, it's so. It's like. To be so thankful for it. Because we're running out of time right now, we have to go to a break. Um, I don't want to cut you off in between. Once you start, I want to, I want, uh, to go through. Okay. So before we go to a break, the show has been brought to you by Automobile DeCastris. H. DeCastris is proud to serve Gunawagi for all these years. If they don't have what you're looking for, their experienced sales staff 
will be able to help you find it.